not think you'll be in a hurry. But one thing I don't miss about being home in this beautiful Phoenix weather on Christmas is this. Beautiful fucking weather for Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Be safe. And then tomorrow, get back on it and kill it. It's Christmas. I'm still working for you guys. Making sure you guys are entertained while you're at home. Today, we're talking about the C notes. It's perhaps one of the oldest white street gangs in Chicago, like the Gaylords. Let's get into this video. In a city known for its fearsome super gangs, criminal enterprise, like the mob, gangs, Chicago has its own culture from graffiti on the walls to how the south side and the north side are separated. In Chicago, it's where you're born that defines who you are, not your race. This is gang life. <laughs> Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to give back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Run Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi pandilla, mi raza, you already know. Subanse a la suburban. We're taking a ride to the west side. Today we're going to talk about the C notes. Ah, a lot of people, I guess the new generation don't know a lot of history of our Chicago streets. Well, I'm gonna give it to you today. The C notes have a story that goes way back into the 1950s and even probably even more because they worked hand in hand with the Chicago outfit. Yes. And most of the C notes actually graduated to the Chicago outfit as associates. I bet you guys didn't know that. Of course, that they were of Italian descent. You know how the mob was really big on that. You actually had, they had to trace your roots to, you know, the town and everything over there so that you could actually be part or made by them. So they go far back to that. So that's gonna tell you they have a lot of history. Back then, you know, it was a lot of greaser gangs. A lot of the wars were over you know, girls, party, territory. It was like I tell you guys, all these gangs date back to like the 1930s. I mean, way back in the day. And, and you know, you can make fun of like, movies like Grease and stuff like that, where these guys are wearing the leather jackets. But that's, that's how gang banging started. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the T-Birds, <laughs> you know? And it, it's just like how party crews you know, at one point say, hey, we're not gangs, we just want to dance and smoke, and then they end up fighting anyways. So it's like, everything goes back, you know. By the late 1950s, the c Notes were actually one of the largest gangs on the west side of Chicago. And I'm gonna give you another thing that you guys probably don't know, but you'll remember. The c Notes were actually the first gang to actually push 
ecstasy a large, large amount because law enforcement was new to the drug and didn't know nothing of it, pretty much. Didn't know it exists. So they, they actually capitalized on this. They were way ahead of their time, way ahead of their time. They opened up nightclubs and they were selling ecstasy and all these clubs that were like 18 and older. And I know you guys remember Zero Gravity. If you lived in the suburbs or close to Chicago, you remember Zero Gravity. Cause that was like one of the first nightclubs that you could go to just being 18 years old. And you had a fucking blast. I remember Zero Gravity cause I went there a couple of times. So yeah. So yeah, they were way ahead of their time and they, they, they just, they were about that money. They were, at, they actually had some pretty smart leaders that put wars to the side in order to make money. And that's just how they were. That's how they carried themselves. Don't get it twisted. They were tough and they had a lot of tough members and they fought it out also with a lot of gangs. So by the mid 1990s, for a gang that was one time all white power stance, the C Notes had a sizable Latino membership. By that time, they would join the Insane Family and the Folk Nation. The C Notes have been occupying Ohio and Levitt since 1952 and are one of the few historic gangs holding down their original corner to this day. Yeah, a lot of history in Chicago. A lot of history. Not only on the streets, but the city itself. This is why I share my stories. This is why I share what I share because we could not, we can't lose our history. We can't lose and forget where we came from and why Chicago is such a beautiful city, but at the same time, it produces some real tough motherfuckers. My name's JC. I am wrong and strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Live savage and remember, you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.